hello my people welcome back to my channel this is your girl Eunice your village girl guys today we are in the kitchen and we are cooking a delicacy guys So let's leave it to boil already. So guys, our water has just boiled. Now we are going to slaughter the chicken. So guys, the reason we do this is to ease the, the process of plucking off the feathers. When it is in hot water, the feathers come out so quickly. And that is the science. I also don't know who invented it. <laughs> Because I don't want to put it direct on the firewood, I use that mesh, the wire mesh. Perfect, there it goes. And then, of course the head so guys first let me know do you guys eat the chicken head because for us we literally eat everything i can say so that's the reason we don't throw the head and i'm going to show you how to clean it Meanwhile, guys, let me tell you something. Traditionally, like in the ancient days, before some kind of little modernity came in, guys, chicken was not supposed to be eaten by ladies, by women in my tradition. So I, I, I don't know why, but somehow it is changing. These days we eat, but those days ladies could not eat chicken. It was just for men. If you're a wife, you cook it and serve it the way it is and serve it to your husband and his friends or and his brothers or whatever. The, only the men in the family would eat chicken that was really mean right please let me know do you guys have any unique tradition about chicken like we do please let me know though somehow it is changing these days women um can open they now eat chicken not like those days where women would have to hide to eat because if you eat open day it's actually a taboo oh my good god terrible
So you can see how the fats are really coming out and that is the reason we actually don't like frying because we love to eat healthy. So the very oils which you see getting out like this is the same oil we are going to use for cooking it. Yeah, because we want to maintain it healthy. That is the reason why the elders in my culture or in my tribe always stay very strong because they eat healthy. They, they, they don't like fried food. It's always boiled or mixed with peanut butter, guys. So that is a secret I've just tipped you with. Like you can notice, I also unfeathered this one and made it very smooth. So what I'm going to do is to clean the beak off. You know this is the dirty part. So there's a way we do it and this is what I want to show you guys. So you put it on real hot fire. Since this one is ready, I can actually remove it off. There we go. Because I want direct fire on this beak, I'm going to do this. Because if you don't put it on hot fire, it cannot peel off, and that's the reason I'm doing it like this. This is actually ready for cooking. Now let's slice this one into pieces. Mind you, for us to eat also this, so I'm not going to throw this. What you do is, after putting it on fire, there's where it also peels off on its own. You're going to notice it's peeling off. So that the dirty outside layer also goes off and then we only remain with the inner clean part. And that is the part we are going to put and cook it together. Also this part peels off. Like this. Otherwise, if you always throw it away, you've been wasting. You can't see when that clothes goes off because you've been worried that it's dirty. But check this. So it only remains. That is the dirt. And what remains here is actually clean. So literally, you've been wasting food, guys. So how about you try it my way and you let me know how it turns out. So guys, I just got done slicing. Now I'm going to wash.
And of course the head is still here. <laughs> I'm not going to eat that part. And of course my feet. Both. 